Right guys, I downloaded uh, Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, I'm just uh, doing a matchmaking thing now. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Can I use this? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, I can use this. Nice one. How do I pick it up? How do I take it? You know one thing I noticed about this? Right, so that's the left left joystick. I'm guessing this can be... What the hell? It's not letting me change it. Oh, come on, man. Wait. Wait a minute. Let me, let me just stay here for a second. It's not too bad graphically. Come on. Right, so I want to map this. So that's left. It won't let me change the right one. That's very strange. The right one, it won't let me change. Okay, so that's... Oh, that's to click. So there's clicking stuff in here. Uh, so I can't see where the on-screen buttons are. Uh, it won't let me change this one. Right, that one can go over there. Let me see if I can put this one here instead. And I put the right one here. Right, so those are kind of inverted. Right, so I'm just going to bring all of the buttons, the on-screen buttons, here because it's not showing me much. Uh, if you're wondering what this is, this is mapping, yes? But uh, I, I can't see the on-screen buttons. So I think for most of this game, I'm going to just have to play it uh, touching the screen. And then eventually what I'll do, what I'll do is when I do discover the buttons, the on-screen buttons, then I'll be able to map them. But for now, uh, just because I, I don't know what the on-screen buttons will be like, I'm just going to leave these as they are. But... Um, Definitely you can click on the buttons and it does give you some feedback Right, so these are the back buttons the M1 and M M2 So what I'm gonna do is basically I'm just gonna save it as it is now Because it's gonna save save app I'm gonna say yes, so it saved that. Oh My god <laughs> It's gone all crazy now. Oh my god. No, this is not gonna work right so it's not gonna work um i'll have to put this back here right i don't know why it's not gonna let me okay so let me save this so this is all mapping guys yeah and okay has it gone back to normal oh my god oh my god this has really gone mad all right wait i think i can uh wait can i delete this option on it delete this and then close right so has it gone back to normal I, I i've got no control now this is so sad i mean i can definitely map the controls but the problem is i'm, I'm trying to map don't think that there's a problem with this okay let, let me just touch the screen basically like i said what i'm gonna do is i'm, I'm just gonna have to play the game uh with with the on screen I'm going to play the game with on-screen controls first and then um, and then once I once oh I learn so once once I learn what what I'm doing where's the ammo right so once once I know what where the buttons are then I'll be able to map them so I mean, graphically, it doesn't look too bad. So it's got some auto firing, which I think is cool. Right? So, what I'm going to do basically is just play the game for now, uh, just holding the screen, touching the screen. It says manual fire on, off. Careful, areas. Right. 
So it's auto fire. I, I think auto firing is. I'll, I'll probably change that later, but I just wanna avoid. Uh, okay. Wow, I'm getting slow today. Right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do basically is just play the game for now. And uh, obviously, uh, how you log into the game? Uh, if, you, if you've got a Call of Duty mobile account, if you've got a Call of Duty mobile account, then I think you would. I think then you would uh, definitely. You need to log in with your Activision account. So when you when you click on uh, sign up, it actually takes you to your your account. Ah, well done, victory. Right, so I'll have to go back into settings and go back to manual uh, firing. I got this also on my iPhone. But I, I just wanted to see what it looks like on the phone. Right, so basically what it does at first is it asks your age, uh, then you have to agree to the, um, uh, to the um, policies and stuff, just like you would on uh, the Call of Duty 3 thing, the PC game. And then after that, uh, it asks you to sign in or sign up. I think signing in is a bit of a problem, so you need to sign up. And like I said, as long as you've got Call of Duty Mobile, you've got an account, you've got an Activision account, you need to use your email address when you're signing up because what it does or if you're signing in like click just click on the steam you know the playstation xbox or steam and it will actually take you to your activision account and that's how you sign in yes if you have an activision account it should know who you are you understand so my new who i was when i clicked on it it took me directly to my yeah, activision the account I'm already I'm free falling so basically what I'm saying is um, for now like I said I'm gonna play the game while uh, touching the screen so I know um, just to find out what the buttons are you know you know what I mean and then once I discover what the buttons are then I'll be able to map this because it's not going to give me uh, for whatever reason it's not giving me all the buttons uh, on-screen bot buttons right now so like like I'm showing you now um, I'm using a gamepad but the gamepad needs to be mapped you see it's working the gamepad's working but I, I need to know what um, where the buttons are and it's not showing me at the moment it says it's a train match come on let's jump in Oh, we're a squad. Oh, wow. I didn't realize. So this is the Battle Royale stuff. Where these people going? All right, I'm following wherever one is going to. Oh, it's going downwards. All right, cool. Oh my God. I'm free falling. Right, uh, it's going into a building. I mean, this is going to be so interesting playing this with the gamepad, you know, you know what I mean? It's gonna be really interesting. Right, so ta ta let's grab let's grab the things. You know one thing, I haven't actually seen uh the graphics stuff yet. So how do you open the doors? No 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 I don't wanna set that up. Alright, open it. Graphics look a bit weird though. Just wondering if it's because having Right, I, I want to actually see what the graphics quality is like. Oh my god, there's someone... Something in the building. <laughs> without, without even trying. <laughs> without even trying. My first kill is so weird. Without even trying. It says the gra graphics are frame rate. Uh, this is streaming mobile data plan allow high res 
this is on high it doesn't look like it's on high i'm gonna put uncapped fill of you i'm gonna put 90. uh let's see da -da 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 -da. I mean, it, it just doesn't feel like it's on a high thing. Is anything higher than this? No. Right. So it's actually saying it's on high graphics quality. Uh, controls. You know what? I've, I, I've actually got... I'm going to change this to manual. Uh, like I said, I want to map the controls. Right. So let's see. How do you swap weapons? How do I pick that thing up? Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, wow. But I, I still want that weapon. Oh, I've got a different gun then. Yeah, let me get that. That's a sniper, right? Then I'm going to swap this one uh, for that one. Right. Okay. So I don't know where my squad is. It's saying these are high graphics, but the graphics... Enemy UAV action. I'm just being honest. The graphics don't look all that good. I mean, they, they still look a bit wonky. How do you pick stuff up? All right, cool. Okay, so in the shotgun ammo... Uh, okay, seems like I picked something up. Kill my grenades. Right, so basically, when, when you're going to doors, it just kicks in the door. It automatically does that. Man, this is really hard to play, you know. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. What's so weird about this? It's like I'm surprised how easy it is, you know. Where's my number? Where's my my dude at? Oh, thermite. Right, right. So basically, right. I'm I'm just saying the graphics for me don't look all that good. Oh, RPK. Nice one. Uh, someone's been here. Someone's been in here. Alright, there's my dude. Right. So, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just looking to see what... Uh, where the buttons are, what they're doing. So, this is actually Warzone then. I mean, if you think about it, this is Warzone. So I'm just thinking, I need to change this to auto fire actually, uh, but I was thinking if I was going to map it, oh wait, there's an armor plate, where's that armor plate thing, ah there we go, nice one, so where am I do that, right, so like I said, uh, if I want to map this, oh my god, there's a claymore, if I want to map this, wow, check that thing out, Right, so it's just it's only a little bit difficult to hold the screen. I mean, uh, because of the gamepad. I want to change this to auto firing. You know what? I'm just gonna hide here for a second, if I can. You see what you do, right? You click on this now. Wait, someone that's here. Then you click on save, right? And uh, then it goes off. Ten remaining. Pick it up. Oh my god. Gotta go back into this. See if I'm close. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I still. So I still need to touch the screen. That's really unfortunate. You know what I'm thinking of doing right now? I'm thinking. I need to change this to auto firing. I'm gonna change this to auto firing only because at the moment, even if I wanted to uh, do this thing, what's, what's that thing? Auto firing, yeah. Even even if I wanted to do the mapping thing, it's gonna be difficult to do right now, you know? I'm just saying it's gonna be a bit difficult to do right now. All right, so you click on sprint and then you get a bit of sprinting ability. Right, so what I'm saying is, at the moment, it's going to be a bit hard for me to do the mapping because, um, you know, I'm, I'm just doing, I'm, I'm talking about auto-firing.
So I'm just finding maybe it's just uh, a little bit easier. What's going on? Why am I stuck? Can't even move. Can't even go forward. What's going on with this game? So basically, it seems like uh, the right button for whatever reason. Not, it's not allowing me. Okay, it's shooting at someone. What the hell? This is not very... It seems like it wants me to force it. You know that? That's weird. You know one thing? Let me, let me go back into this thing. I want to click on new. And then I'm going to close it. Yeah. You see what I mean? Uh, come on, man. I'm going to click on new. And then just click on save. And hope that it's fixing, it's fi going to fix this problem. I'm just going to die now because of this stupid control, man. So it seems every time when I touch the screen, you see, it stops me from running. So how, how am I supposed to... I'm wondering if they've got an actual controller thing on this. Come on. a simple win i'm just saying at the moment i'm finding it a bit difficult to play with this thing i have the backbone in the background here that's the backbone and this is actually stated to work with uh walls on mobile so I'm, I'm i'm wanting to see how that's gonna perform with walls on mobile because this this isn't the way i was picturing this thing i'm not saying it's, it's a bad game to play i'm just saying it's not what i thought it was gonna be you know I'm a bit disappointed by the gamepad. But then I have to say, the game looks really nice on the big screen. Like saying I can customize this. I can resize things. And it says you can choose behavior variants. For each button choose the controller set that fits your gameplay style so i'm gonna customize it says interface so you can actually change everything gameplay interface sensitivity so i'm actually gonna go for the customizing of the hat yeah fine 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 right so it's in here now this is very weird wait can I actually move these things? All right, you can move them. So it seems like there's some buttons here that are not actually, you know what I mean? Like there's some buttons in the background there that I'm noticing, but I, I don't know how to, how do you get to them? Right, so I think these are the basic ones. Now what you do here with this uh, gamepad is this, you click on the start and all these buttons will come out. And this one should be for there. That's for movement. I've got this one, but this one is a problem now. You see, it won't let me move it. I mean, the right, the the right uh, uh, stick. It's here, but it's you see, it won't let me move the stick. So it's like you can't program this stick for whatever reason. It doesn't allow me to program it. So I want to put it here. So I'm thinking it won't even go in this direction. And I'm just wondering if, if that is just an issue. Right, so this button is now here. Right, so let me, let me click on new. And I'll, I'll put this one there. And you see the same problem. And if I click on this one, same issue. Then I have to click on new again. And move this stick here. Click on the M2. And you see, I can't move the M2 either. So I, I don't understand, like, it, it's not letting me uh, shift the, the right stick. I mean, the right stick on this side. I want to put it over here. It won't let me do that. So I'm clicking on select, obtain the sharing presets, uh, switch to preset up, hop up, and then more presets. Um, so I'm going to say click more presets. It's got PUBG Mobile. It's got all these. I'm going to select PUBG Mobile, and it's going to download the presets for that one. And then I'm hoping like can i then use those presets you see it's the same problem it's brought the presets for call of duty mobile 
uh, to the screen, but the right stick isn't allowing me to, to shift it. So I don't know how to move this. That's the only problem. Right, when I figure this out, I'll tell you guys, but I'm going to try and play this game now on uh, Backbone. I wanna see how it performs on uh, iPhone.